What's up guys, it's Caleb here and welcome to Blackout Tech and today we are going to go over the Skylab gimbal. Yeah, you guys are like, this isn't a studio Caleb. Well, I was so excited. Um, this is my first upload for my channel and I want it to be a really good upload. So let's jump right into it. So up in this upcoming video, as you guys can see right now, um, is the case it came in. The structure of the case is very, very well built. Um, my honest opinion on it is 10 out of 10. They Skylab did a very good job in building this case. They definitely did not use any cheap material for a fact. Um, I don't know the exact material or fabric that's on it, but only thing I know that is definitely a 10 out of 10 on that. So if you drop it or if it fell off the table or something and the case is of course zipped up, you really don't have to worry about anything wrong with your gimbal because of the hard rugged structure that they have put on that case is very well built like I said um, on top of that I love the material as I was saying that it's, it's a I can't really describe the material to you guys or um, really give you the material that it actually comes with for that case but it's very it's very nice in the hands um, very smooth especially with the handle that they put on it, it has the handle has this rubber um, like a little rubber strip over the handle. Personally, I don't want to carry around a case just all in my hand all at once. Like it feels like I'm back in high school carrying around a binder to class. So uh, me personally, I did not want to carry something around like that. So the handle is definitely helpful. Okay, now let's break down the what's all in this case of this gimbal. Like I said, very well built gimbal. Uh, I love the feel of the outside. It has like a silky, like a silk type texture to it very well built love the rubber handle like i was saying so as we open up the case it comes with a 3.5 millimeter usb regular old android charger it does not come with a base to plug in the wall so if you have iphone uh, iphone a samsung or any 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 component in your house that has a usb port definitely you have to use that they don't supply one with you so i'm guessing about three feet long for this one um, so that's what's up here at the top left over here to the right of everything comes with uh, your little instruction booklet. Not very, don't really rely on using this this much. I actually read, yes, I'm a guy, guys hate reading instructions. I actually tried reading it, did not, no, no, no. It did not really go deep, descript, did not really describe how to actually use it. So it's all over you trying it yourself. Uh, then they pack a little warranty, fill out the send in. Also a little paper. So on the back of the paper is a counterweight. I'll show you guys how to install this counterweight. Also how to find it if you ever decide to get this. Had a hard time finding the counterweight. Um, then on the other back, it just talks about a little mods and all that stuff you can add on to it. Now let's get to the gimbal itself. That's papers, charger, whatever. Here at the top left, you have the handle to put the, to hold your gimbal up. I love this thing. It's a metal build. You drop it. You don't have to worry about it. But you will get some scratches or dents in it if you do decide to drop. If you accidentally drop it, don't do it on purpose. Don't do that. Um, so right below that is four um, 300. Uh, uh, my bad. 900 milliamp batteries. Uh, three volt. 3.7 volt batteries. Not the best batteries, honestly. Um, I got a max of using my gimbal and my phone on that sorry about that thought I had a phone call um, I got a max of 15 minutes with these batteries trash sorry Skylab one thing you guys could have did better in this setup was give a, the batteries a little bit better battery life not the best now let's get into the gimbal itself love the gimbal the only plastic part that's on it is your phone case holder. Everything else on it, very well built. All metal, I love the feel of it in my hand. Uh, so how you actually use the hand on the battery itself. So what you do is you put the batteries in there, screw this at the bottom. My, the batteries might be dead, like I was saying, they don't last that long. Hold this power button right there, lights blue, it moves around, lets you know that it's, oh, it's on, but then it dies because the batteries are dead. I'm sorry, I'm 
doing a review with dead batteries, but I tried to get the batteries to last and try to do some little footage of it. It died on me instantly. Sorry about that. But here's the gimbal itself. Love the gimbal, like I said. Here is the battery. I love the battery pack. The one of the best battery packs I've ever saw personally for um, any device to charge batteries with. These little two in light indicators up here, red, dead, of course. Green, just alive. So that means that it's gonna have life to it. So I love the pack of how they got all this in the case and how they all have their own individual spots. Then to finish it off, this is where they hid the little counterweight behind the battery pack. I opened this thing up, I was like, okay, where's this whole counterweight thing they're talking about? Very hard to find, but then I ended up finding it. It was actually behind the battery pack, like I said. And what this is for, this is the counter, uh, counter the weight of if you have a very heavy phone. It does actually help, because I am actually filming off the Galaxy Note 9, and I, at first I was scared, I was like, oh, this Galaxy Note 9 is not gonna, it's gonna kill this thing. I put it on here, it was very heavy as, as, as what I thought it was going to be. And the camera was slanted like this, I was like, okay, I gotta find that counterweight. And then I finally was messing around, I was like, why is this thing sh loose? So, you actually put the counterweight over here in the gimbal, so when the gimbal's on, the counterweight's right here, so when your phone goes up, it's like that. This weight definitely helps, 100% definitely helps. But other than that, that's what's included in the gimbal case itself. Uh, so, let's go jump in some other footage. Okay, now let's get into the battery pack itself. Like I said, I love the battery pack. Uh, one of the most cool things that they added in this thing. Watch this. All right, have to reach it. All right. So as soon as I plug this in, if I get it, all right. So as soon as I plug it in, two LED lights. Love it, right off the bat. Let you know it's active at least. Not just plugged in and you don't know if it's on or not once you plug something in. Right away, as soon as you plug it in, you're good to go. So let's put in two dead batteries. So these are the batteries I was using. Turns red, one is red. Two is red. Let you know both of them are dead. So they're charging. Now let's jump into the gimbal itself. So the cool thing about this gimbal and the downside about this gimbal. The downside about the, where's the side of the downfall? Love the downfalls. The downfall about this gimbal, regular price $279. There's no way I will ever spend that much on a gimbal with terrible batteries and not enough features on the stick on the handle itself. With the Smooth 4, highly recommend for only $119, for a few dollars more, you get a button that you can play the video, pause the video, take a picture, zoom in, other total whole bunch of different things you can do with it. You can slide your phone on the Smooth 4, connect it, with your, um, connect it through your phone, so then you get all the features that it has, you download the app and you go about your day. On this, you don't really get much for it. It's not really worth that $279. Whoever spent $279, I mean, sorry that you bought that, but sorry. But in order for Skylab to to succeed, they should have, one, packed in better batteries that lasted way longer. They should have packed more stuff onto here. I mean, I know you can do the whole mods and all that stuff, but can't really mod too much stuff. I mean... Then for $270, I'm just basically getting a basic thing that doesn't come with the accessories. So it's kind of pointless to pay $279 and you're not getting that whole $279 worth of it right out the, right, like, right out the door. Instead, you got to buy more accessories and make it the best. Um, so my personal rate, 7 out of 10. Could it be way better? Yes. They would include better batteries, more features on here. Um, that's one thing I did not like um, about this. Is that it doesn't have that many features. You turn it on, you got the little analog stick. Yes, this is very smooth. Yes, I will give it to them. This is very smooth. Rotating is very smooth. All of that stuff, excellent. But I need more features for I can stop my videos, play my videos, and go about my day when I'm just out and about. Press it, press it. Instead of me having to come up to my phone screen to rotate it around to stop it, then I gotta do a lot more editing. And editing takes a long time. Don't get me wrong. If you ever did a video editing, you know, you already know the struggle. So, the case, very well built. The battery pack, I love it. Um, I like how it indicates when the light is green, it's fully charged, you don't have to worry about, oh, well, it's been on there for two hours, so I, I guess it's fully charged. No, that lets you know that it's fully charged. Um, like I said, I love it where it's 15 minutes, 
to charge. That's it. That one takes 15 minutes and then it dies fast. Downfall. So you get 15 for 15 basically because I got 15 minutes, took 15 minutes for it to charge, took 15 minutes for it to die. So that's, I guess you can win there. So I guess you want to charge for two hours, lay a charge for two hours and see if it lasts for two hours. I guess that's a little catch 22 phase that you got to go through. But other than that, I love the structure of this metal body frame. Um, only thing that's plastic on it is where you put your phone in at. Other than that, full metal body frame. Very well built. Like I said, Skylab, you guys did a very good job on that. But anyway, that's going to wrap up this whole summary of this review. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Tuning in to this video. If you watch to the end, thank you so much. Make sure you guys just hit that like and subscribe button. And tell me down in the comments what I should do next. Or tell me what I need to change. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys will say, you need to change your setup, Caleb. You need to change your setup. My setup is getting built. Uh, keep you guys updated on my setup. Make sure everything is going through smoothly. Make sure you guys are all up to date. Well, no, I'm starting early. So hit that bell right down there next to that subscribe button. And stay tuned. i see you guys later. Hope you guys like the outro. Peace out. Also, guys, I forgot everything that's in this video will be down in the description. My phone, the camera I'm using, and this gimbal in several different places. So make sure you guys go check the description if you guys are interested into getting one. Go check down in the description. See you guys later.